Supreme Court ruling today that voters will not decide whether to legalize recreational marijuana this November. Barry Mangold spoke with the campaign behind State Question 820, who blames the delays on the state as well as political actors. Barry? Yeah, Amanda Carl, the state Supreme Court ruled today that the Yes on 820 campaign missed deadlines to get onto the ballot this November. The court also wrote that the delays were caused in part by new technology that resulted in a learning curve inside the Secretary of State's office. We're just super disappointed. Supporters of State Question 820 may have to wait until 2024 to vote on whether to legalize recreational marijuana in Oklahoma. The state Supreme Court ruled Wednesday the question can be added to a general election ballot, but it's impossible to include it this November. This morning, I actually... Campaign director Michelle Tilley's reaction <laughs> was twofold. Happy that 820 will get a vote, but disappointed in the missed deadlines. Again, we just really feel like the process was used for political reasons. Justices wrote that the process got bogged down in the Secretary of State's office and took roughly seven weeks, about a month longer than expected. The delays were caused by a never-before-used method for verifying signatures. The Secretary of State's office told News 9, quote, For the first time in memory, if not the history of our state, a true signature verification process for an initiative petition occurred and only signatures that were registered voters were counted. Four challenges against 820 were also filed in the Supreme Court. They were all later denied, but they did slow things down. And the court dismissed all of those as frivolous challenges. But they used the process, and unfortunately, it's kept us off this ballot. And now state question 820 is set to be on the ballot in November 2024 at the latest. It is possible that the state question will get on a ballot sooner if the governor calls for a special election. I reached out to Governor Kevin Stitt's office to ask if they're considering such an election. They said they had no comment. Barry Mangold, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.